Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining us. This is the Good News at Five, and I'm your host, Beatrice Schaefer. Today, we have a very special program prepared for you, honoring a man familiar to many of us. King David, the greatest king of Israel, led a spectacular life, and today we are going to look into it to try to get a better understanding. We'll start with the earliest clip of him we have in our archives. As you will see in the clip, even from a very early age, David was no stranger Hello, to everyone. our headlines. I'm here on the scene with the young boy David who just took down the giant Philistine Goliath. David, why'd you do it? Well, my dad sent me down to give food to my brothers. Then Goliath came. So, my, he sent out one of our men to fight him. I knew God would keep me safe, so I went. Wow, incredible. Did you hear that, folks? Wow, David, how exactly did you manage to kill him? Well, I already had my slingshot in my hand, so I picked up a few stones. And I ended up only needing one. Wow, did you hear that? Incredible. This boy, no hero, David, just took down the giant with a single stone. Congratulations, David, and I hope to hear more about you in the future. Uh, can I go home now? Back to you guys in the And studio. so his story begun. An incredible tale of a young boy slaying a giant with a single stone, and that's before he even became king. The story of how he became king, however, is an interesting one. and welcome one. back. Let's take a I'm look. here with my old friend Samuel. Hello. To talk about the anointing of the new king, David. So Samuel, what exactly happened the day you anointed David? Well... I was just minding my own business and anointing Saul when I thought my days of anointing people were over. And then God just spoke to me and told me to go to the house of Jesse to anoint the next king. So I was like, okay. Um, so I went to Jesse's house, which is a very nice place by the way, and I asked Jesse to show me his sons. And he did, and I said to God, which one of these do you want me to anoint for the next king? And God was just like, none of them. That's strange. Yeah, it really was. So, I was just like, what do you mean? Like, I've traveled all this way to Jesse's house and there's no one for me to anoint. So, I just asked Jesse if he had any more sons. And he was like, well, the youngest, David, is like out tending the sheep. And I said, bring him in. And he did. And uh, I said, God, is this the one you want me to anoint? And he was like, yeah. So... I just did what I usually do and anointed David in front of his big brothers. That's amazing, Samuel. Yeah. Thank you for being here. No problem. So life was good for David then, but things soon took a turn. Some women in the kingdom began to sing a song. Saul has slain his thousands and David his ten thousands. From this point on, Saul was very jealous of David. Hello he everyone, sure I'm jealous. here at the spot where rumor has it, David himself will pass by at any moment. He is currently on the run from someone, but we're not sure who it is. Hopefully, we'll get the scoop from David himself. Look, here he is now. David! David! Slow down! Who are you running from? Saw! A saw? Oh, saw! Ah! Well, you heard it here first, folks. David is currently on the run from what appears to be a very angry King Saul. That's After all for Saul's now. Death, when David was crowned king, it was obvious that he was to become the greatest king in all, in all of Israel's history. But he had his faults too. You can't figure anything out. Oh my god. Bathsheba's coming! 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 Well, we didn't ever get too much out of Bathsheba, but nonetheless, she was still a huge part of David's story. We're going to go on ahead to our next clip, a rare home video of David himself with his son Solomon. Yeah, yeah, wow, he looks so much like me at his age. Wow, Solomon, this is great. Let me hang it on the fridge. Wow, you never hang up my stuff on the fridge. I do now. Thanks, Dad. Well, it looks that we're almost out of time, so I guess we're going to have to wrap things up. Today we took a look at all of our old clips of David and the people in his life to pay tribute to the great king of Israel. I hope that you enjoyed our program, and thank you all so much for watching the good news. See you next time. I'm your host, Beatrice Schaefer, signing out.
braids so you look like more like a man. No, I'm just gonna leave it out. Okay, so, well, I was like, pretty <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah. Stop!